Do you want to discover if you have the seal of God on your forehead? Keep watching to know you are among the one who have the seal of God on their forehead in this end time. Today, keyword says, there is a difference between seeking God and diligently seeking God. For those who diligently seek God, God said, they will be greatly rewarded. An example of those who diligently seek God was Abraham, the father of faith. Today, we can see how God had blessed Abraham's generation because he seek God wholeheartedly. Through Abraham's descendants, many nations were also blessed. Are you seeking God halfway or doing all it takes to please him? Answer the question quietly in your heart. Today, I'm going to share with you how to know if you have the seal of God on your forehead. But before I continue, what is the meaning of the seal of God? Revelation says that the redeemed bear a seal on their forehead. The seal consists of names of God and the Lamb and shows that the redeemed belong to God. Revelation 14.1 The seal is not a visible one, but a way of indicating that people find their identity in relationship to God and Christ. The seal or relationship does not mean that people are exempt from all earthly suffering. But it does show that God has claimed them and given them the promise of life everlasting. I was listening to a particular pastor on YouTube some time ago. And the way he explained the zeal of God on our forehead inspired me a lot. It made me to discover that, oh, so that is why certain things is happening to me certain thing is happening in this end time this man explained that there are seven angels who will blow the trumpet in the end time the seventh one will be the last one who will blow the trumpet for all of us to be gathered together to meet the lord he explained further that based on bible revelation he said the last angel is meant to blow the trumpet in our days in this last generation what he said god told the angel in revelation wait let me put my seal on my people first before you blow the trumpet when that man explained how to know if you have the seal of god on your hair i was surprised that no wonder this is why certain thing is happening to me is happening in our nation nowadays let me go straight to the point how will you know you have the seal of god on your forehead number one you will feel like this is not you have you been thinking nowadays that there is something you are meant to do in this world than what you are doing at the moment are you having that body in your heart that this is not you you are meant to do more than what you are doing now that is number one sign to know that the seal of god is being put on your forehead the moment you feel like this is not you, you are more than this, you want to do more than what you are doing now, then the Spirit of God come upon you and you start to research on how to discover yourself. You start to research on who God really is. You start to research on how to know Him more. You start to research on how to discover yourself. You start to pray and meditate on how to know what you are meant to do in this world that is a sign that the seal of god has been put on your forehead number two you just feel like 
you want to be more closer to God. You want to know Him more. You want to know Him more. You just keep on feeling like that. You want to worship Him the more. You feel like that every now and then. That shows that the seal of God is input on you. Number three, when you start to notice that after you've discovered yourself, you are more focused on your destiny. You are more focused on your dream. You are more focused on what you are meant to do in this world. You forgot about backbiting. You start to drop all the wrong friends. Just know that the seal of God is being put on your forehead. Number four, you just feel like having compassion on people around you. When you see people doing the wrong thing, you feel the pain in you. You just want to help people to change for good. That shows that the seal of God is being put on your forehead. Number six, if you notice that you have become disciplined in doing anything in life, if you notice that you have become disciplined in following your dream through, you have daily routine and you are disciplined to follow the daily routine, that shows that the seal of God is being put on you. And number seven, you notice that you are not judgmental anymore. You see people the way you see yourself. You see people the way you see yourself. You don't differentiate between black and white. When people do something wrong, you feel for them. You don't judge them. You encourage them. That shows that the seal of God is being put on you. You just notice that what normally gets you upset before, you just notice that you let go of it. That shows that the seal of God is being put on you. And lastly, how to know the seal of God is being put on your forehead is this. Nothing scare you anymore. Because you just have the peace in you that God is with you. That shows that the seal of God is being put on your forehead. I like to give example to make my explanation more simple. I had a story about a woman all the way from UK. She went down to Nigeria to establish a dance company. She said that body was on her for like many years. She just wanted to, the, 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 the body was there. The spirit was pushing her go to this particular Africa, Nigeria especially, to go and establish a dance company in that nation. Finally, because she has discovered herself, she knew how God speaks to her. She followed her mind. She went down to Nigeria to establish a dance company. The company has become big to the extent that now among the students that go to the dance school are those people who were about to kill themselves before, who were depressed before, who were sad before, who doesn't believe in themselves before. They are now the students in that school. That shows that the woman followed her dream. By following her dream, she wiped tears out of people's life and she made those people to be happy in life and she also made them to also run after their dream and start to believe in themselves. That is an example of how to know the zeal of God is upon you. Life is not about you anymore. Money is not about you anymore. Materials is not about you anymore. What gives you joy that brings success to you now is how to help people out of depression, how to help the less privileged, 
how to help sinners, people that do wrong, that refuse to change, how to help them out of those problems. That is what inspires you more now. That shows that the seal of God is on your forehead. Whatever you are doing now, check it. Is it all about you or is it all about God? Think about this. I hope this inspires you to run after your dreams and to believe that you and I can make it in life. Stay blessed.